talk a little bit about Sierra. Yes, let me put this thing up a little bit so you can see me. Okay. And So guys, I did a terrible thing uh, last night. Hi guys, if it's your first time here, please do subscribe first before we get into the video because in this video guys, it's going to be a mini vlog. We're going to talk about Ciara controversy and I'm also going to be talking about this new hair that I got. I like to bring you guys hair that are natural, that look natural and that are beginner friendly. So if you like this type of video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Okay, let's talk about Ciara because the internet is so mad at her because she released a new song telling women not to have a man. There's nothing wrong with if a woman wants to work and get her own money, but why do we have to promote the don't need no man? When I think about <clears throat> you and me, was you have this joy about you and this peace about you and the sexiness about you sexy i'm saying again it's sexiness about you it's confidence about you that you didn't need me mm. that was sexy to me mm. you didn't need me they wanted me <laughs> but you didn't need me that they don't need a man you don't need a man girl you can travel by yourself you can pay your house by yourself you can pay your bill by yourself you don't need a man yes and a lot a lot a lot of women are mad at her guys you need to understand something this is entertaining she's an entertainer so she deliver she give to the public what the public is asking for and we know that in this world out there single ladies are very praised being single uh, is very praised out there is very encouraged to stay single and be single so that's why she wrote this song yes people are getting mad at her and i think that we shouldn't be mad at her because she's an entertainer okay she is just an entertainer she's not the first person writing a song about single ladies she's not the only artist writing a song about being single and stay single look at cardi b Look at Beyonce. You see, those women, they sing about being single. They sing about that that's the love you should, you should you should have, you should be. But at the same time, when you look at their life, they are not single. Beyonce, she's married. She has like three or four kids. And yes, you could say that Beyonce was singing about single lady at the time that her marriage wasn't that good. Yes, her husband cheated uh, was cheating on her so maybe she wanted to get out of the marriage maybe that's the reason why she wrote about being single maybe i don't think so no i think those those ladies are singing it because it's what pays it's, it's what bring attention it was it, it's what the public wants cardi b she is married she has a kid but she's still singing about being single is is awesome if you are a happy married woman there are things that it's gonna be very difficult for you to sing so now guys if you are listening to those music because you are trying to know how to live your life you are going to be deceived because when you see that all those women every night they go back to their home they go back to a home with a husband with kids they go back to men that are going to take care of them there are men men that are going to pay their bills ciara for instance that's the good case i, I think that's the that, that's the better case ciara her career is not that it used to be okay her career is almost i think over because she keep bringing us with music with the same type of beat with the same type of of song so her music are all they're all they're pretty much all the same i guess i think for me for me okay so she doesn't have the same money that she used to have okay her husband is bringing more money than her her husband is the one paying for the house he's the one paying for the trips he's the one paying for food he's the one paying for bills he's the one paying for everything so Sierra herself 
she's been taken care of by a man okay yes she's taken care of by a man and yes the public says Ciara no Ciara no 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 Ciara we want what you have Ciara we want a husband to we want kids to we want a family we want a man that take care of us Ciara you're not gonna burn you're not gonna burn us you're not gonna lie to us anymore we want what you have stop singing Rashid music stop singing music that are going to make us look we don't want to be single anymore. We want husband too. That's what the public is. That's the response of the public. And Ciara, is she caring? Does she care? I don't know. I don't know if she cares. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, my advice is, is clear. If you this internet is a lie you shouldn't follow celebrity life you shouldn't follow what people are saying on social media you shouldn't follow what people are doing on social media because most of the time it's all lies and fake internet is just full of lies and lies people are going to lie to you to make you pay their products to make you pay the music to make you pay the cost to make you pay any kind of things they are just doing it because it's business and if you are not if you do not pay attention if you are not a disciplined person if you're not a person that is that knows exactly what they want you're gonna be deceived you're gonna be disappointed because you're gonna see them move up and move up with the things that they, they say you really don't need because you're gonna see those same people those same women getting married having kids having men taking care of them and you're gonna be by yourself with nobody no men no kids no family nobody and you're gonna be pissed off 20 years later because most of you guys you are not gonna see that right now most of you, you are going to see that 10 years later and you're going to see, oh, I wasted my life, I wasted my time listening to that person. That person is doing the exact opposite things that she told us not to do. Yes, unfortunately. Don't be mad at Ciara, okay? Don't be mad at her. It's just business, okay? And entertaining. In entertainment yeah okay
Oke, okay. one is very, one is tacky. Uh, just put it down. Put it down. Put it down, put it down, put it down. This week I bought it because of course of another YouTuber. She was wearing this wig uh, glueless. And I really, really bought this wig because I wanted a glueless wig. Because for me it's easier, it's easier for me to just grab a wig and put it on and that's it guys. Doing this air spray, uh, glue it down, I don't like to do it. So, unfortunately for me, I can't wear, I can't wear this, this uh, unit glueless because it's too big on my, for my head. And I think uh, that's the issue. This wig only com comes in one size wig cap, so if you have a really, really small head like me, it's going to be difficult for you to wear this glueless. I'm doing a great job right now. I really don't know. Uh, using that. Woo! I burned myself. Oh no, no! I don't want to burn myself, guys. I'm coming back. Oh no! Don't use a hard comb like I did, especially if you're a beginner or amat amateur, amateur, in French we say amateur, uh, English amateur, I mean, okay, if you're a beginner, please don't use a hot comb like, you know, like a professional, okay, no, don't do that, you're going to burn your skin, it's going to be very difficult for you to remove the pigmentation or the dark spot or the dark thing, you know, so, mm, we don't want that here, nope, so, Okay, five minutes. Let's see what the wig is doing. I think I, I think I just waste I waste my money with this wig. I feel like it was a waste of time because I couldn't wear this wig glueless. So I'm very unhappy, very 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 unhappy. So that's how the wig look. You can see a little bit on this side. The front look pretty much good. You can see on this side, I'm, I'm going to have to do something to hide the lace and make it look a little bit natural. So let me do that and come back and show you the result, okay? One thing that you will always need when you, if you are like a wig wearer, is a hard comb. A hard comb is like, it's a must. A must at all time. Like right now, I don't want to use my the the other the strengthener. I prefer to use this this one right now because it's just easier. Okay, it's easier, and I don't also want the wig to look uh, silky straight. No, so yeah. <laughs> Shouting in my trap top, trap top. Got yeah, me sticking like a hot spot. spot. And she really wanna run away. about this hair the hair itself is very soft I like the density of the hair I like the lace of the hair I like pretty much everything about the hair the edges of the hair I don't know if I, I don't know if I like it overall if I need to give a note to this hair I'm going to give 7 over 10 because when I bought this wig my goal was to wear this wig glueless unfortunately the wig cap is too big for my small bitty 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 head so I can't wear this wig glueless so I needed to to add air spray on the side but the top right there there is no air spray at all so the lace of this wig is good 
is it blend very well with the skin the hair itself also is good but guys i did something and i need to come out clean with you when i got this way guys i wanted to dye to dye it black so i tried to dye it black and i messed it up guys i did something really really bad yesterday i washed four of my new wigs those are the wigs that i i think i would be really in love with because they seem to be um beginner friendly they seem to be very easy to wear so i was trying to color them jet black or black and i did i followed the rules of what i of what i i used to see on youtube and it messed up the knot of the lace it messed up the lace and now i had to bleach all those wigs but the knots are not the same so i don't know what to do i i really don't know what to do guys i tried the the hot the boiling method the dye boiling method where you need to boil water and put the dye inside and then get your your hair inside so I tried that new that that new method guys and let me show you and this hair that doesn't even look black to me it doesn't look black to me guys I'm sorry it doesn't look black to me and I think I'm gonna re dye it again but as far as for the lace I don't really know what to do I feel like I mess up this wig I really feel like I mess up this wig and and I don't know am I gonna buy rebuy them again I, okay I'm going to try to fix it I'm going to dye those hair again uh, my way not the YouTube way I'm going to dye them my way and then I'm going to try to install them to wear them and see if they works if they do not works I will have to buy new ones because I don't know how to fix the list that I mess up i don't really know guys i don't really know so <laughs> that's something new so now you know a little bit what happened with this hair so that's why if i if somebody asks me if i recommend them to buy this wig i would say yes 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 but personally i think that the edges on this wig that i receive look a little bit fuller and thicker than the youtuber the company sent the wig to on her wig the edges were looking very natural on this wig the edges look i think it's a little bit thicker here and a little bit longer than what they send her so but this is something that i think you can fix i think but if you're a beginner like me it's going to be very difficult for you to fix because i think you need to plug plug a little bit you need maybe to cut a little bit more hair stuff like that but as far as for the rest the wig is beautiful guys the texture is good the wig look natural the the lace blend pretty much very well with the with with your skin uh, you can add a little bit of powder on the lace to make it blend it perfectly you can wear it i think uh with hair spray with glue as well can you wear it glueless i think yes if the wig cap fit your head it's gonna be very easy for you to wear this glueless so that's pretty much everything i have for you today guys Mm-hmm. Yeah.